the third anniversary milestones are here guys the rewards are looking pretty good so in this video we are describing exactly what you need to do in order to max out on all of these milestones before this event is over also these raid milestones new raid milestones this past weekend they're looking pretty good and what kind of rewards can you be expecting based on what your alliance is doing and the dirty cheater scopely has responded it may not be the response that you think of but wait i hear it i hear it yes that is the one we were talking about that as well and this debacle of this silver surfer release again my opinions have changed a little bit since yesterday so we're talking about all that guys some positivity some negativity and if you're ready for all that find that like button and you know what to do let's go smash Alley flying Yo, what is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you're ready to break down all of these milestones so that you can max these out before this event is over. Also discussing these new raid milestones and uh, what, what uh, we can be expecting as far as this and what we're going to need to get all of these milestones, guys, because it's, it's not less than 24 hours you're hitting all these milestones. And the dirty cheaters, the silence from Scopely has been deafening. My thoughts have shifted a little bit since yesterday after discussing some things with you guys on the live stream this morning, and I'm discussing all of that. Now, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Or if it's not your first time here and you've not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button it does help to grow the channel so i can produce more great content for you guys and hit that notification bell so you get notified as soon as a new video is released but let's go into the game right now boom and check out these milestones first let's check out these uh, dark matter milestones and check out some of the rewards I already claimed a few of them but we got some good stuff here we got character shards that are unfarmable training orbs uh more stuff uh four star elite orb fragments um, you can open a bunch of these and we have energy here, which is good for this event. We're going to go into that spreadsheet and break it all down. Uh, gear 15 pieces. And I think the grand prize for everyone that does not already have a big five star red star Zemo, this is probably going to be the grand prize for a lot of people, but a lot of good stuff in here. The missing gold promotion credits that were supposed to be in the daily login calendar. I guess, I guess they got shifted here. I guess decimal point Jeff got, uh, confused on where these are supposed to be at but in total you're going to need 72,000 points in order to claim all of these milestones and how do we score these well if you open a celestial orb which is the big one and a lot of the calculations we're looking at are based on these celestial orbs I'm going to have a link for that Verandia spreadsheet so if you need to change some of these numbers you could download it and change it uh, as well but celestial orbs 800 points so you're going to need uh 90 orbs total uh throughout the course of this event this is a 14 day event not a 10 day event like at moon night once so we got a little more time now the big one the big one that i screwed up on is this universal truth milestones and if you see i claimed all of them i claimed them all within the first hour uh i i think this was different when i looked at it i thought it spent spend war credit one point spend elite war credit also one point uh, I may be wrong on that one, but because it said one-on-one, -on -one, I open all of my elites, guys. Don't open your uh, elite uh, war orbs because you only need one per day. Don't open them all at once. Hopefully, you didn't make the mistake that I did, but uh, yes, don't do that. If you if you open one of those per day and you, and you get one piece of gear from the store, that should give you all of these universal truth milestones, but... If you blitz, you don't even need these uh, all of this universal truth stuff for the uh, for the orbs that you can get. You can do it all with blitzing, and it doesn't take a lot of rotations, guys. A lot less, uh, a lot more player friendly than some of these previous ones. Let's go take a look at the calculations from our brother Verandius, who always makes these spreadsheets. And guys, he's using this exact same uh, link here. So if you've looked at the Moon Knight one or the Red Guardian one. Use the same link. Anytime he's going to make a uh, spreadsheet for a future event, it will be in this link. Now, he may not make it for every single event, but anytime you will make it, it's going to be this exact same spreadsheet. So bookmark this, guys. But let's take a look at this event. It's a 14-day event. We looked at it. 72,000 points, 800 points per orb. If you're opening that celestial orb, you need 90 orbs. So you need to open about a little more than six per day. If you're opening seven per day throughout the course of this event, you should be fine. And to do those 6.4 orbs, you're going to need about 51 or 5,142 uh, daily currency. So that's how much you need to earn per day. Now you get a bunch of free stuff. As we look at this, if you look at the objectives, the raid objectives, you're getting 400 points. 
the RTA objectives, you're getting 200 points. And yes, you're going to have to play RTA if you want these objectives. Arena objectives, two arena battles per day. You're getting all this stuff. So this is just from the daily objectives. 1,008 campaign energy. So if you're using all of your refreshers, you're not letting anything top off. And you're using all of those 50s. Uh, it should be about a little over a thousand uh, energy that you're getting from your normal campaign stuff. You're getting uh, energy from ISO 8 stuff as well. And if you're doing the 50 refreshes, 72, uh, 720 total points. And you're getting free Cali stuff into free calendar. So if we go back into the game, this is this is the calendar that we are supposed to get these uh, these uh, gold promotion credits on this. Mark, oh, Mark, not, not this one. Daily rewards. There we go. We're getting this stuff right here in these these cosmic essence, and uh, I'm still I'm still not happy about these. But these cosmic essence throughout that that is 600 throughout the total. So if we go back to the spreadsheet, that breaks down to about 42 of these per day throughout the course of the event. You're getting energy in the milestones. So if we go into the back into the game, we look at the actual uh, milestones themselves. They have some normal energy, normal campaign energy. Oh, not this one. They have some. Uh, ISO 8 energy as well. We claimed that normal energy, but whenever we see an ISO 8 energy, we see another one. So that breaks down to about 17 per day if you average out those 250 energy and milestones, which means per day you're getting about 20 or if, if you're doing all this stuff with your free energy, doing the refreshes in the campaigns, doing the refreshes for the uh, ISO 8 energy, you're getting about 2,500 88 per day that's what you're gonna need or that's what you're getting it just leaves you with a shortfall of 2588 or that's what you're getting uh you're just gonna need it's gonna leave you with a shortfall of either 2000 or 2500 around there based on the universal truth milestone now you don't really need this uh, you're getting a few points per day you're getting a total that you could get per day is 575 but you could get more than that in just one blitz rotation so if you're blitzing a lot uh you don't need to worry about these orbs you don't need to worry about saving or budgeting and i guess uh i guess the i guess the the what cerebro said about the avalanche or milestones is still right we didn't need to hoard we didn't need this it makes it a lot easier but we didn't need to do this and as far as blitzing uh eight sim 827 sim rotations getting about 47 per day and 27 blitz sim rotations about uh, or in the rotations you're getting a few points so basically uh the rotations that you're going to need long and short of all that guys if you're getting these uh hitting these milestones these universal truth milestones in war you're going to need about four blitz rotations uh, that is that 2,000 remaining. That's going to hit that. But if you're not doing any of these universal truth milestones, maybe you didn't save up your credits, you didn't save up your elite credits, you're going to need about 2,500 per day. And that's about five blitz sim rotations with 25 wins per rotation. So that is what you're going to need, guys. It doesn't seem that much. Not, not as crazy as those eight rotations that you needed for Moon Knight. And some of your numbers may be different than uh, what is on this spreadsheet based on the amount of blitz teams you have, based on the amount of uh, campaign energy you spend, based on the amount of war credits you have. So feel free to download this, like I said, make any adjustments that you have, but basically what you wanna shoot for on a daily basis, opening a little more than six, shoot for seven daily orbs and you should be good for this event. But let's go into the game because Scopely has responded to some of these cheaters that are getting multiple Silver Surfer offers, guys. And for those of you that don't know what went on, we had an offer for Silver Surfer, 50 shards, 20 bucks on release day people, most people were getting two times because that was available for purchase but some people were able to purchase that many more times whether it was a bug or whether it was something on purpose uh they, they said that they would redo that offer in a post last week from zeeks and uh we got this we got to offer 50 bucks for silver surfer just uh just then without all this stuff here and that was that was basically the response on this weekend hey we know we know you guys didn't get Silver Surfer. We know some of you guys may have wanted to purchase this multiple times. So here you go. It's more expensive. And many people were very upset about this. So uh, they brought it back. They brought it back with the stuff that they said was going to be here. The gold orb, the training orb, some of this mystic gear. Still a pretty crappy offer. It is not as good as what people were able to purchase. That were able to purchase that original offer for Silver Surfer, which they said was coming back. Now... Like I said, my thoughts have kind of changed. You guys have you guys are winning me over on the Valley Club in the morning on the live stream. So uh, if you guys want to hang out, make sure you check that out. But uh, something that was said, I equated this 
this cheating situation to a store, a brick and mortar store. Let's say they have a sale, one per customer on whatever item they want to sell. You go in there and you buy it and then you come back out and you go back in and buy it again and you buy it again. That's kind of what is happening here. So because there's like real money exchange, it's kind of a weird situation. Uh, but if there was actually cheating done and you guys, you guys convinced me of this, the store, they could ban the person from ever coming in, ever spending money again at that store. And that would be appropriate. So a ban can be appropriate, I guess, if, if there's a pattern of this going on for a bunch of times and not just some accidents, because I, I think there are some people that may have accidentally done this uh, based on some of the comments from you guys. But there are also people that may have been doing this on purpose and done it multiple times, especially as evidenced by that uh, six gold star silver surfer that popped up uh, uh, over the weekend. So, yes, this this is this is Scopely's response, guys, for better or worse. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know what you think they're going to do. You think they're going to ban people? Do you think bans are appropriate? Do you think some other kind of solution is appropriate? Maybe giving a shards to everybody. But I definitely think Scopely needs a better response than putting this offer in the store. This is not what I was expecting to hear. Uh, Cerebro, Zeeks, where are you guys? What are What is your stand on this? Are, are, are Is this uh, just something that everybody could do with no consequence? Or is this something against the terms of service? And... If you, if you actually go to the terms of service, it does say things about exploits and cheats in there. Let's go to these milestones. These raid milestones came over, came up over this past weekend, and they're looking pretty good. Instead of just some raid orbs and some other fragments, we're getting some actual orange elite fragments, which is good. I wish these orange elite orbs were a little better, but we're also getting these armory 14 fragments, which are pretty abundant. You got a lot of these in here, and uh, they're they're... All of this stuff, if you're able to get this high in the race, I'm assuming that you could go into the Doom chapters and farm all this Armory 14 stuff. The real value is all this stuff right here. Now, uh, at the end of day one, after doing an Ultima 7.5 and a Greek 4.2, we were at about 5,000 or so. So I'm assuming over the course of this event, we should be somewhere in the 60,000 uh, if we're doing those kind of raids per, per day. So that kind of results. So if you guys are doing something like that, you could expect somewhere around this range which means that you're getting part of an armory 15 or per season half of one now uh, ultimately i think uh, where everybody wants to get is to this 85 so you're getting one full of these armory 15 orbs per season i think that would be pretty cool but uh yes that's where it's at guys let me know what you guys are gonna do on this event where you guys are with your alliance are you pushing to some harder raids are you going up to doom in order to get more points are you going to uh, the greek 4.3 the difficulty i know our alliance did that and i guess we weren't prepared we're probably gonna have to drop down to 4.2 but uh yes this is this is this is much better uh, i'm not sure what kind of results you would need to get to get all of these uh season points i think Someone that was doing Doom 60% on a daily basis got to about 94,000. So I think we need to 100% the Doom rates in order to get all of these. But I think that's that's what is designed for, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Like I said, let me know what your alliance is doing. And also let me know your thoughts on these dirty cheaters, guys. What do you think the correct punishment should be? I'm still kind of neutral because I don't have all the information, but I am leaning a little more towards at least a permanent ban, or at least a uh, temporary ban, maybe even a permanent ban, depending how abusive this uh, person was in the past. So that is it. Uh, that, that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys do good with these milestones and get a lot of good rewards. And hopefully when we get the Silver Surfer uh, release method today, it was supposed to be this new strike pass. Uh, we got the offer for Silver Surfer exactly a week ago. And uh, normally they, they have those offers before the free to play release method. So, I'm expecting to today in a few hours, so uh, we'll see what happens, guys. Let me know all your thoughts on this, guys. I will see you guys next time. Good. 100th episode of the weekly news update tomorrow, guys, so that should be a fun one. I will see you guys then. Check me out on Twitch. Check me out on social media, and subscribe, guys. Let's continue to grow this channel. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you give that Hulk fist bump before you go, and have a great rest of your day. Oh, yeah, baby. Valley flying out.